hit record. Okay. All right. And we have our clock ticking. And can you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Trish Armstrong. I teach wellness freshmen to mostly freshmen at Northampton High School. And this year is really exciting because in the spring I'll be teaching a yoga class to some upper class. Oh. Really excited about. Well, that's really cool. I did not know that. And so yeah. what kind of yoga would that be? Um, I was trained in Baptiste yoga. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a type of yoga that has a tradition. It's like power yoga. It's a flow, vinyasa, power vinyasa yoga. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think that's something in the spring you might be able to do in the park? Or, or do you know? Um, I don't know. So yeah, we don't know. I would love yeah, to yeah. do it outside if it's available. Absolutely. Um, I we'll have to see. Lauren has me scheduled for the gym. I, I, I just don't know. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's a great idea. I love it. I love it. Um, now, so your your class to the freshman, what, what, what's kind of covered in that? Like, what do you guys briefly mm -hmm. kind of cover in that? Mm -hmm. It's a really good question. So we open up with um, a unit called Health and Wellness Concepts, and we talk about the modern American lifestyle. We talk about the leading causes of death in our country, which most students are really surprised to hear what they are. Um, we talk about lifestyle factors, um, things that have contributed to our lifestyle that cause these leading causes of death. We compare these leading causes of death to what they were 100 years ago and how that's changed. Um, we also talk about wellness and what that concept means, how it's different than health. We do a lot of integration of body, mind, and spirit. It's a fairly long unit. Um, and we talk about three major lifestyle diseases, obesity, heart disease, and what is the third one? Uh, uh, diabetes, type two diabetes. Yeah, yeah. Um, from there we do, um, you know, we do a unit, we all do a unit on nutrition, we do a unit on stress, which includes sleep. Um, toward the end of the course, we do alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, including vaping and opioids and the disease of addiction, and integrated throughout the course, um, you know, are mindfulness and stress management techniques. Like we do them throughout the course. That's great. I mean, that's so useful. And there's stuff that you can do just sitting in your seat, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes we just begin class with some deep breaths and Students are really compliant. They actually like it. And on oh, yeah. some days that we don't do it, they actually ask for it. We explore some websites together. We do a little bit of journaling. We do a little bit of art. We, you know, I try to teach them tools that they have access to that they can use beyond my classroom through life so that when life gets difficult, we've got some things that bring us relief that are healthy and that we don't start this habit of relying on substances or unhealthy behaviors to get us through hard times. It's like really sitting and being present with difficult moments, um, yeah. because that's part of life. I think that's great. You know, with my class, I'll often have them close their eyes, and take, kind of take them in a deep meditation, and then I'll go through their belongings and try to take money from them. <laughs> That's just my style. <laughs> you know, that's, that's just my awesome. style. I just need to supplement the income a little bit, yeah, but it's it's really effective uh, for both. And but because it really calms me down to have more money, so that's my thing. <laughs> yeah, that's another technique. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is another technique. Now, Trish, what would you like as a freshman going into high school? How would you oh, describe that's, yourself? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. The funny thing is, I I sort of talked about that a lot because. My youngest child was just my student, and he's a All rising right. sophomore. Yeah. So I, I had a lot of those conversations when I was your age, you know. Um, I was the type of kid that was friends with um, a lot of different groups of people. Mm. So I dabbled in, in, in a lot of the groups, and I really was a connector and enjoyed meeting people and didn't belong to one group. I mean, I had my 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 um athletic little things going on like track and field and dance and gymnastics but i was also interested in theater and debate and i was also interested you know the nerds had a lot to offer to me and i could learn from them as well yeah. and you know you were so, like the ferris bueller you were ferris bueller yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that's cool well that's such a great way to be and i can see yeah. that you're you i can see you in that role all yeah. right so we are five minutes are up 
but it's so great that you've been able to join us and you freshmen are gonna have a wonderful time. This is a, such an important course. This, you know, you could make an argument that the course that you'll take with, uh, with uh, Ms. Armstrong and also financial literacy might be in some ways the two most practical important courses you can take in high school. So, mm, thank you. just saying. I appreciate that plug. Um, when we're not recording, I have a question for you. All right, I'm gonna stop recording.